this week's problem, three math teachers were eating lunch together when the sixth grade math teacher said, We have the same number of boys as we have girls in the math club this year. And then the seventh grade math teacher said, Two thirds of all boys in our school are in the math club. And then the eighth grade math teacher said, Three fifths of all girls in our school are in the math club. And for those of you who solved this week's problem, you know that we're trying to find what fraction of all students in the school are in the math club. And while we will not be able to find the total number of students in the school, we will be able to find the fraction that we're looking for. And we're assuming that these teachers were not rounding off, so we're going to examine groups of boys and girls that can be divided into thirds for the boys and into fifths for the girls. And here are some shown here. And then, what makes this problem a little unusual, instead of looking for a common denominator, we're looking for a common numerator. And there it is, 6. So in this case, which is the smallest case of possible students, we know that the number of boys and girls is 6 each, and the total number of boys is 9, because 6 out of 9 is 2 thirds, and the total number of girls is 10, because 6 out of 10 is 3 fifths. We add them up, we get 12 over 19, 12 nineteenths, the answer to this week's problem of the week.